Meghan Markle has contributed to a poignant op-ed focused on the Supreme Court nomination of Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. Meghan shared her views on the nomination of Judge Jackson for an essay penned by leading U.S. lawyer, educator and author Anita Hill. The article, published as Black History Month comes to an end in the U.S., sees the Duchess of Sussex describing the nomination put forward by U.S. President Joe Biden as historic. Meghan, who has been an impassioned equality activist for years, told Ms. Hill for the article published by URLmedia.com, the civil rights history of tomorrow is being written today. Judge Jackson's nomination has opened new ground for women's representation at the highest level of a judicial system that for too long has tilted against the very community she hails from. For the millions of young women who will rightfully find inspiration from this moment, let's remind ourselves that black achievement is something that exists not just today or yesterday, and not just in moments of celebration, but as a fabric woven into the entire chronicle of the American story. Ms. Hill explained in her article to have contacted Meghan for her views on the nomination, confirmed last week, as she saw a measure of parallelism between Judge Jackson and the Duchess given her experience navigating uncharted territory as a black woman. Ms. Hill referred to the fact that in May 2018, upon marrying Prince Harry, Meghan became the first mixed-race Duchess in the British royal family. Meghan's contribution to this op-ed delighted fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. One Twitter user, at Love Obiddy, believes the Duchess has become an important voice on the international stage through her charity work and activism. They wrote on the social media platform, Meghan the Powerhouse. She already made a place for herself at the table. When important issues are discussed her opinion matters. I love her. A second, at Seeker Just, wrote, they keep winning. How eloquent and profound D. Meghan's contribution is. We owe a knee to a debt that cannot be paid. She is a trailblazer and tried to warn us of the evilness and baseness of one who is on the court already. A third fan, at M.N. 51,607,704, said, More to come about Meghan Markle's limelight. I cannot wait. Finally, Twitter user at Sinich underscore 26 wrote, So eloquently worded and so on point. Judge Jackson has indeed made history by becoming the first black woman to be nominated to sit on the Supreme Court. This follows a pledge Mr. Biden made during his presidential campaign to nominate a black woman for the post. Last month, after liberal-leaning Justice Stephen Breyer announced his plan to retire as a Supreme Court judge, the U.S. president renewed his promise to make history. Meghan's contribution to Ms. Hill's article comes just days after Meghan and Prince Harry claimed this year's President's Award during the 53rd NAACP Image Awards. The pair were chosen for the award for their special achievement and distinguished public service. Upon receiving the accolade, Meghan expressed how humbled she and Harry were to be now counted among the people honored with the President's Award, which counts among its recipients Muhammad Ali, former U.S. President Bill Clinton and singer and businesswoman Rihanna. She said, thank you so much, NAACP President Derek Johnson for this incredible honor. It's inspiring to think about the legacies surrounding the Image Awards, which began shortly after the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965 were passed into law. And today, we can continue that legacy by re-establishing federal voting protections in our country and fulfilling the work of civil rights giants like the late John Lewis. We are so deeply humbled to be here in the company of so many illustrious awardees. During the night, it was also issued the first ever award created by NAACP in collaboration with the Sussex's organization Artuel, the NAACP Artuel Digital Civil Rights Award. Its first recipient was researcher, author and internet scholar Dr. Sophia Noble.